Oh, what a beauty! Well, I've got my refund from the Automobile Club de Monaco for the race it never was. But don't get me wrong, I'd have rather I went. So, spent the money, more new tools. We have here some Hex Keys, Hex Plus it says there, from Vera. So three different styles. Uh, these are, are Torx and those are Allens or Hexes, or whatever you want to call it. So we'll get a wee look at these, see if they're any good. So since all my holidays have been cancelled, I've been spending money like two men that we had in some sort of compensation. You know, so, I don't know. There's nothing better than uh, new tools, for sure. But, uh, you know. Okay, we've all run into this situation where we get an Allen key bolt or whatever, and it's wrung out. These things here have this Hex Plus, and I've been looking into them, and everybody rants and raves about them, and says uh, these type of Allen keys, you know, there's no point buying anything else. Just go out and buy these. Now, see this set here? This set here was actually the cheapest amongst the three here. And it was only like 20 quid around, around that. So, all bought off eBay, off the, the usual sort of sellers. And this one here is the cheapest. And this one is a low profile here for tight spots. You know, so your normal Allen key, if I can get... A check there you normally it's normally a little bit longer there so uh, that's the idea of that particular set and for a length on them there so what's that probably about a foot long is the longest one and this set here again is the hacks plus but they're all all less color coded but they're the more longer sort of profile there now, the only thing I noticed with this is uh, it goes up so one and a half to 2.5 all mill all this no seven so it's a six six eight and ten there and that one's the same so the seven mil seems to be elusive in a lot of sets this set here again no seven mil so where do you get seven mils well you get them on volkswagen calipers and uh yeah so you do get them but there you go such as life, you know, can't have a ring and all that. For some reason, a lot of sets and on keys tend to skip seven. But anyway, uh, there's another wee set there, actually. Uh, that wee set that I've had for donkeys. And 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 5. 5.0, it only goes up to six. So, no seven there either, but it only goes up to six. Anyway, hacks plus. So, is it any good? Is it different from... You know your normal type of on key and these are just a cheapo job gets abuse you know does the job on most occasions but if you get an on key that's rounded out these are supposed to help you you know this other reset here this is a wee set of torques and yeah so but they're a wee bit special because they have a ball end on them so it's a ball end torques and another wee feature that I didn't actually realize that it had, uh, it was only when I bought it, that it has, it has a magnet in here. So the idea of that is you only clasp it there. And it seems pretty good built, you know. You would expect it to be pretty pretty good, pretty well built from uh, Vera uh, German tools, which are, I think, mostly made in the Czech Republic, but it's a German company. Uh, so it's, it is European. It's made in Europe. So you can give on a couple of wee strokes there, and that is the magnet there and that magnetizes it you know so i'll just get a wee i'll get a wee torch here see if that how see if that has worked right so i found a, a t25 so we'll have to let's see now so this uh is not magnetized at all so it's uh, at least you could do this with an ordinary magnet you know but it just so happens it's uh it's in there for you so let's see if this will pick us up no, not really. It's sort of 
magnetize a wee bit. Uh, test. I suppose you could hold it on for a bit longer, and then we're going to demagnetize it. So it's simply that's a the, the you can see it there the plus and the minus there, and the magnet. So I struck it in there a few times, and uh, let's see. Yeah. So uh, just a wee feature there. Just it's just inbuilt to it, but it's only in the in the torques. But I uh, I fancy these because of this ball end, you know. And uh, you have the top. The top one has the, the security bit on it, which I don't really see a lot of, to be honest with you. You know, you get that the old time, but uh, it's more for that ball end for so you can get in at an angle. You know, so it's more about access with these. So you're hoping to maybe catch it. Yeah. Oh, hoping to maybe catch it at that sort of angle there. So that's the idea of that. Right, back on to these things. Hax Plus, what is this Hax Plus malarkey? Well, it's this profile of this uh, head here, you know. So uh, that profile is there as well. So hold on, let's try and get you in a wee bit better. So you can see it more in this one. Okay, so what is what is all that we're talking about? And you can see it there. So it's, it's, the, it's the way this the own head there is profiled. So if you remember, I did a video on uh, rounded nuts and bolts. So for the external hacks, then we see that there's there's a flank drive that have this profile on it, so it catches the the flank of the nut and assists you in taking the nut off when it's slightly rounded. So if it's completely rounded, complete if that's completely round, you need to use the twist sockets or the turbo sockets that I showed in that video. So this is what we're talking about. This is the same idea, only it's internal hacks. So let me see, what have we got here? Aha, right. I have here, I'm not show you that for the minute, the details of a United States patent. And it's from this guy here, there's the inventor, Martin Sturch. And uh, the assignee is Vera, Werner GmbH. And this was patented in around 2000 there. So date of patent is 2001. And I'm not gonna read all this out to you, but basically this is, the invention relates to a force transmission structure, especially for screwing wrench with multiple corners. The invention is considered inner, inner Inner multiple cornered mating profile, especially for a screw with six cornered uh, inner case profile. So it's talking about an Allen key and it shows all the geometric drawings. And there's a, a normal type jobby there. I'm gonna get you in the focus again. Focus! So there is the profile. So it's the same idea as that, only internal. You know, so we'll go on a few pages here. There's a wee bit more, more pictures. Is that the same? Figure four, figure five. Oh, it's just the geometry of it. There's a nice picture there. There's a nice picture there. Another picture, and a whole lot of uh, summary of summary of invention there again. So it's uh, invention force transmission profile. Yeah. So. Brief, tra uh, yeah, it goes on, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read all that. And there we go. Certificate of correction. Uh, what's this here? Oh, I've never, never seen this here. It is certified that an error appears, identified, right, right, right. So that's just a, that's just a correction on an O2. Right, well that's dead on, and you can look it up yourself. There's the patent number, if you wanna have a wee look at that, but there's not really much more to see. It's pretty boring stuff. So, what I always think with these things is, if this is so good, why is nobody else doing it? Why are not Allen keys, like it wouldn't be hard just to you know cut that into the profile. It's a wee bit like the snap-on flank drive that they came up with in the 60s and uh, basically everybody does it now because it's off patent. Well, 
here's a wee interesting bit of this. So where's that uh, Vera GmbH and company? And there's the uh, application. And it goes on and goes on and goes on. And look, this patent's expired, apparently, according to this. So it was published in a one, uh, and then 2019 anticipated expiration, and it is now expired. So has nobody caught on to that? Another wee feature I forgot to mention, you know, somebody has put a bit of thought into this, like, you know, in fairness, uh, have a wee retaining ball, the, the coloured ones here in the, in the hacks have a, have a wee retaining ball there, a bit like what you would get on your, on your ratchet and stuff, you know. So there's, there's that one there, is a, a wee retaining ball. So if I have a wee look, let's see if I can do this on the camera. Let me see. So, I'll loosen it up a bit, it's probably dirt out. So yeah, that's, clearly that's gonna fall off that. So there's no retention there at all. Well, it swaps these over to this one. Without you here, click in. Yeah, that does, does hold it. So if you're wanting to go down in, to start the bolt somewhere or up in, you know, so it's, yeah, it's, hold, it's holding that for sure. So another wee feature of, of those colored ones. So you've hacked plus and uh, that OESI holding function, hex plus, Five mil holding function. Yeah, that's what that means. I forgot all about that. Actually, I should have actually said that earlier. Uh, this this style here, the, the the cheaper one, the cheapest of the the three actually, even cheaper than Torx, hasn't got the HF, the holding function, there, and uh, yeah. Well, there's no wee ball on it, so it's not going to hold it. So. There you go. So yeah, it's uh, I like that actually. I like this, you know, there's there's a couple of features here with this. Uh, you know, with with that flank drive style pro profile and uh, the wee ball end there. So yeah. Okay, moving swiftly on. Well, in the name of sense, we'll have to test these things out. See if they're any good. See if the they live up to the hype. You know, and see if it's crap. I'm gonna tell you. So. I have a few hex bolts here. Now, as you can see, I completely butchered that one till it's basically rounded out. And, uh, well, I did try it on... Oh, there's one away. I did try it in this one. And, uh, yeah, well, that's... That's not going to do. But that uh, bolt, that is a 12.9 grade. Uh, high tensile steel bolt, which uh, took a right bit of drilling, and uh, you know, the the ordinary allens were still uh, were still catching that. I've had it in the vase, so I've completely buggered that up, and that one there won't do it. But we'll we'll show this. I'll show this here. I'll show you a bit more. I'll try and use them. I've got we uh, we small ones there, and uh, it may be more real world with them. Okay, see, so yes, this is a wee five mil jobby here, a wee five mil one device there on our cheapo one key. Yeah, it's good enough purchase on that there. I'll try this other one here, and yeah. So if I swing on that there, it'll, it'll bust the on key, and, you know. But, right, we're gonna get one, and we're gonna round it out. Right, after a bit of bugger raising, we've got one here now, and uh, let me see, we'll put that in there. And it doesn't really fit in, to be honest with you, and it just, it just bends, it calms out. It just, it just forces it out, whatever way I've drilled that, so. That one there's grabbing it a wee bit. Yeah, well, that's... It is just popping it out. So if that was if that was tight in a a real world situation, that would just slip out on you. And it's butchering the end of it there. So let us have a wee look at our Hex Plus. And we'll use this one here. 
this low profile job ain't. Let's see if we can get it in. And that's just bouncing out as well. So, yeah, I think it's either been, I've overdone it there, or, you know, these things here, it's only for if it's slightly around it, just gives you that extra bit. I just can't get it actually in fall now. It's catching in there alright, it seems. Uh, let's try another, the other one here. So, is that a feel for the Hex Plus? Well, I don't think so. You know, this isn't the uh, real world. Me just butchering these things up. Yeah, that's, it is catching it. I mean, that is catching it, yeah. So, you can see I can put a bit of force on that, enough to bend the shank there. And it is catching in, whereas this one, well, it won't even really, it's just bouncing out of it, really. So yeah, okay, the low profile one didn't really, didn't really do the job there now, but yeah, it's not really going in much, but yeah. That one there seems to be. Yeah, it's definitely purchasing that. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so yeah, different applications then, uh, you know. So we rounded out this, uh, these are 8 mil, these ones, 8 mil hacks, so you can see that fits very snugly in there. And it's wanting to turn that in the vase. Take that a wee bit. Yeah, so that's just an ordinary, an ordinary bog standard job, you know. And that one there, no purchase whatsoever. So we'll try our Hax Plus and this fancy color coding here with this particular style. And yeah, yeah it's just too much on it. Now you can feel, I can feel a bit, there is a bit of resistance where, but it's just chowing it up with all the failings there. So yeah. Too much on that one, but uh, yeah, brave and snug in there. Okay, so one way of getting these off, it's a wee bit like you know, this is this is just the opposite of the external hacks. This is an internal hack, so uh, you know, twelve point, ram it on the end of end of the nut, you know, and uh, you're hoping the the teeth uh, cut into it. I'm sure, everybody's done that. Have sacrificial sockets to do that. So what I would have done with these bios is a triple square external 12 point and ram it in and uh, beat the living daylights out of it, you know, and uh, away you go. Doesn't work all the time because the fastener has to be, you know, solid. So if it's on the bit of sheet steel or whatever, you'll not be able to get that hammered into it. So it does work sometimes, doesn't work the odd time, you know, and then you're, you're butchering these up. And uh, they won't last long if you keep doing that carry on. So I'm going to show you another wee tool that actually is a laser here. And I actually will get that out. So hold on, I'll show you the, the part number for those that are interested. It's 6845 and that's it there. Dominic something or other. Cap, head, bolt, screw, extractor, blah, blah, blah. And uh, get you back on that. So what we'll have in here is these wee boys here. So there's an eight mil, so we'll pick we'll pick that out. And this, so this is the the next sort of level up then from the Hex Plus. So if that doesn't take it out, if it's too badly gone, which in this case it is, I've overdone that. And uh, then that is slightly oversized and doesn't go in. It doesn't even go into a, a good one, you know? Uh, it sort of does, just about. It does a wee bit. So on this, if you look, there's, uh, if you can see, if you can, if you can come up the camera, there's wee striations there on it, and you can see that it is perfectly six-sided, and then there's that sort of twist in it. But uh, yeah, this these actually do work. So I need to get a tappy tap tap here 
Tappy tap tap. And we'll give that a bit of a twist. And we'll just stick one of these on it. And we'll see if that's going to chitch. So clearly they're made to go in reverse, you know, go anti clockwise or counterclockwise if you're that way inclined. And that is actually gripping that the best. So, yeah. So obviously it depends how bad it is, it depends how rusted up it is and all that sort of jazz, you know. But uh, that's the next level again to our Hex Plus, you know. Clearly, probably what I'll be doing from, from now on is I'll probably be, you know, reaching for these over the standard Allen keys. These are now sort of maybe sacrificial or whatever. And uh, yeah, they're, they're not that expensive. Like the silver kit, which, uh, where is it? Over here. The silver kit, as I say, that was 20 quid. So what are you going to pay for, you know, a normal set? You know, you're going to pay 14, 18, or 15 quid or something like that. Now, those lovely colored colored ones there, uh, where am I? These colored ones, they were a bit dear. They were like £23, £24, you know? And, you know, it's, it's, it's not much dear to get something quality. And a lot of the guys rant and rave about these. They just go, they just say a lot what I've seen. You know, you're not going to use an ordinary Allen key again. But, you know, so... This this catches every time, so you don't you don't you don't even try the ordinary one. So from what I've seen here, we're doing this wee experiment here, and without using these in anger, because uh, I've only just got them. Yeah, they definitely you know they definitely will purchase better than an ordinary one. So it uh, it sort of begs the question: Why would you bother with an ordinary one? Why you know why would you why would you want, why do manufacturers still make an ordinary arm when all they have to do is change the profile on this head? Now, the other thing, for guys that use uh, stainless steel fasteners or whatever, you can get these in stainless steel to avoid sort of cross-contamination of the materials or whatever. So, you know, they do, they do a range of these and you can get them in the ordinary black. You can get them shorter and, you know, you just, you just need to look about for yourself there and see what they are. But I thought these with a good bit of length on them we're, we're good at the at the price uh, point, you know. So why has this not been copied? Well, I asked, I asked myself a couple of questions. It's not worth copying. You know, it is under patent. Well, it appears to be up until 2019 anyway. Uh, it's maybe off patent. Maybe the other manufacturers, you know, it, it would be too expensive to change their tooling to adopt this profile. But having said that, patent or no patent, it usually doesn't stop a lot of a lot of our suppliers from overseas. So yeah, when I say it's uh, why is it why is it why is it not been copied uh, by other people? Is it no good? Is it not worth it? Well yeah there's the patent issue, there's the tooling issue and maybe they just haven't caught on and well the patent may be applicable to uh, Europe and maybe it's just expired in the US or whatever but anyway is it worth buying for those wee five mil ones there there's uh there's how much I bitched that one in comparison to the good one and uh the colored one looks as if well it may have taken it off it, it was gripping it it was it was gripping it uh, a lot more where the ordinary arms weren't gripping it at all so I don't know. Well, I know. Do you know? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it gets a it gets a thumbs up. These these hacks plus. Yeah, if you're if you're looking for a set of Allen keys or looking for or L keys as some people call them or whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, yeah, uh, definitely uh, extra few quid. Not that much more expensive, and uh, yeah, you're getting you're getting the quality tool there. There's no doubt. You know, so. For sure, these these ones here, these cheapos there, are, what, what are you going to pay for that? 12 quid? 14 quid? I, I don't know. Something like that. And, uh, yeah, say a 10 or more, and you're getting something that's uh, durable and quality. Uh, for sure. It's, de it's definitely well made. And even that wee holder, there's, you know, it seems to be pretty durable to me. And, uh, yeah. 
So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that three quick review. Well, probably wasn't that quick, but okay. Thanks for watching. All the best and bye.